was formed in September and we'll be linking up with our Carol Nderi to tell us more about that tour by President Uhuru Kenyatta in his central Kenya backyard. All right, so we now go to our top story this morning and like I mentioned, the former NY's Deputy Director General Aidan Harake and Hassan Noor, who chaired a tender committee at the Ministry of Devolution and Planning, have been arrested. Now the two were picked up this morning and are being processed to be taken to court after warrants for their arrest were issued on Friday. They filled to appear in court when former planning principal secretary Peter Mangiti was charged with conspiring to defraud the government of 47 million shillings. Mangiti, Harake and Noor are accused together with other members of the ministerial tender committee of failing to adhere to procurement laws in the awarding of a tender to Blue Star Enterprises for automotive engineering training material. 16 of the 24 accused who were in present who are present in court on Friday denied the charges and were released on cash bill terms ranging from 250,000 shillings to a million shillings. Now, KTN News journalist Joy Dorimbira, along with the King of Rwenzururu in western Uganda, are among those who were detained by police over clashes between police and militia, in where 55 people were killed. Joy Dorin, together with her fiancé, were allegedly picked from her home in Kasese by uniformed men yesterday evening and uh, has not been traced up to now. While she was allegedly detained over her social media post on the violence between the Kingdom loyalists and national government forces, the King Charles Wesley Mumbere is accused of inciting violence after militiamen reportedly attacked a police post in his hometown of Kasese. Security forces stormed his palace amid claims he was harboring fighters. The King has denied any involvement. A Ugandan government spokesperson accused the militia of seeking to break away from Uganda. Regrouped. The commander is not surrendering them. What else do you need to get? We need to flush them out. Okay. So the flushing them out was the response of killing them. No, appropriate yes, under the circumstances. You because you are you are jumping they had retreated into to the palace. You are jumping into symptoms of this. Look at the root cause. I'm just giving you a generic story of what happened. Now, the the forces the, the, when the, the, the king did not comply as we had agreed, mm. we had no choice but to flush these people out. When the forces moved to the palace, these guys, actually, what we had expected is what they, 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 they uh, fulfilled. Why didn't you besiege the Look palace here, instead? They fired. The first person to get injured was a major of the UPDF and, 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 and a private, a major senior officer, and was hit by an improvised explosive device, which is, uh, is a bomb. The first thing the weapon they used was to throw a bomb towards the forces. So, did so security react in provocation? Out no, of provocation? No, no, not out of provocation. I've told you we had to, we moved in to move them, to get them out. Was killing them it. strategic? Now, you see, Simon, you are going to uh, uh, dilute your debate because okay. you keep asking questions repeatedly, changing yeah. them.